Hello and good day. Welcome to our video channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be a fast concise overview, Book of Judges, Chapter 10. Let's get started now. Judges Chapter 10 begins by introducing two new judges, Tola and Jair, who ruled over Israel for 23 and 22 years, respectively. After their deaths, the Israelites once again turned away from God and began to worship false gods. As a result of their disobedience, God allowed the Philistines and Ammonites to oppress the Israelites for 18 years. The Israelites finally realized their sin and cried out to God for help. God responded by reminding them of their past disobedience and rejection of Him. He told them that He would not save them this time and that they should cry out to the false gods they had been worshipping. The Israelites continued to plead with God, but He did not relent. Finally, they put away their false gods and vowed to serve only the Lord. In response to their repentance, God was moved with compassion and raised up a new judge named Jephthah. Jephthah was the son of a prostitute and had been driven away from his home by his half-brothers. He had become a great warrior and leader of outcasts. The Ammonites came to make war against Israel, and Jephthah was chosen to lead the Israelite army. Before going into battle, Jephthah made a rash vow to God, promising to sacrifice the first thing that came out of his house if he was victorious. The Lord granted Jephthah a great victory, but when he returned home, his daughter, his only child, was the first to come out to greet him. Jephthah was grief-stricken but felt obligated to fulfill his vow to God. He allowed his daughter to spend two months mourning with her friends and then carried out his vow. The story of Jephthah is a tragic one and it serves as a cautionary tale about the danger of making rash vows to God. It also highlights the importance of repentance and turning back to God when we have strayed from His path. One of the key lessons of Judges chapter 10 is that God desires our obedience and devotion. When we turn away from Him and worship false gods, we invite destruction and oppression into our lives. But when we repent and turn back to Him, He is always ready to forgive and restore us. Another lesson we can learn from this chapter is the danger of making rash vows. Jephthah's vow was a rash and foolish one, made in the heat of the moment without thought for the consequences. It ultimately led to the tragic death of his daughter and brought him great sorrow. As believers, we should be careful not to make vows to God lightly, and we should always consider the possible consequences before making any promises to Him. In conclusion, Judges chapter 10 reminds us of the importance of obedience and devotion to God. It warns us of the danger of worshipping false gods and making rash vows, and it encourages us to turn back to God when we have strayed from His path. May we always seek to follow Him with our whole hearts and trust in His mercy and grace. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back here for our next video. Always take good care.